welcome back to the channel. My name is Alex. I'm a first year medical student at Vanderbilt University. And in this video, I wanted to kind of break down the first year curriculum at Vanderbilt because I know when people are considering medical schools, it's really important to kind of know the differences between schools and kind of what you're gonna get out of it. Because I know for me, one thing I really loved about Vanderbilt was the one year preclinical curriculum. So I will talk about what that means so that you can hopefully make an informed decision when you're choosing a school or you can just kind of see what we're up to throughout the year. Okay, so there are two two key points or two key portions of the first year and there those two things are the courses that we take and then the longitudinal thing. So if you're looking at this online, you know, you'll see the same thing is that we are taking individual courses and then we also have things that we're doing all year long. So to start with the courses, we have what we call blocks. So we have I think I believe five blocks. We have two six week blocks and then we have three 12 week blocks and that takes up the whole year. So to start going through the blocks, you've probably, if you've watched some of my videos before, you've seen me talk about HBA, you've seen me talk about MNI, those are examples of blocks. So going through the blocks in order, they are human blueprint and architecture. Um, that's what you start with. It's a six week block and it kind of goes over biochemistry, a lot of the things that you've seen in undergrad on the MCAT, just making sure that you understand general cell biology before you jump in to other things and at the end of that six week block you do have your NBME so you have your little boards exam and then you also have a practical where you're looking at histology slides and that sort of thing anatomy and then you also have your essay portion of the exam as well and I do talk about kind of the exam structure in another video but I think for the first six week block we spend about eight hours in examination so four hours of essay and then four hours total of NBME with the histology portion so kind of what makes up the courses so we have um, what we call CBL which is case-based learning and that happens Monday Wednesday and Friday most of the time where you meet with your group on Monday you talk about two cases you're given a bunch of information a bunch of lab values maybe some x-rays maybe some echoes and you look at those things and then on Wednesday so between Monday and Wednesday you do a bunch of research and you compile that information so that you understand it the way a physician should on Wednesday you come back and you discuss case one for two hours with your group and then on Friday you come back and you discuss case two so you have some some time in between to do some research and put all of that together and understand the case and it's really helpful for understanding like presentations of patients and kind of how to make sense of data so we have CBL often we'll have what's called TBL or team-based learning and that is basically where you do a flipped classroom sort of thing you teach yourself a topic and then you come in on one day of the week and you will take an individual individual readiness assessment test, which is called an IRAT. And then after you take that individual test, you come together with your team and you take what's called a GRAT or a group readiness assessment test. And from there, you kind of build off of each other's knowledge. It's very common for people to do poorly on the IRATs because it's hard to teach yourself things in medical school. <laughs> so it kind of teaches you to work as a team, but also you get to learn from everybody's experience. So we have CBL, we have TBL. We also just have like normal lectures. So on any given day, we can have anywhere from two two to four hours of lecture, just like you would expect. There's somebody teaching, you're taking notes, asking questions, that sort of thing. And then we also, in addition to that, we'll have lab sessions where we're looking at histology slides. And then we also have access to the anatomy lab where we're working with body donors and um, sort of learning about the anatomy and the position of all these different things in a real person. So that's really awesome. And that's sort of what makes up each course. And so the remaining courses are microbes and immunity. So we start with human blueprint and architecture, six week block. Microbes and immunity is the second one. That's also a six week block. Right now we're on homeostasis, which is a 12 week block. Endocrine, digestion, and reproduction is another 12 week block. And then we finish with brain behavior and movement, which is another 12 week block. So I can only speak to HBA, which is human blueprint and architecture, MNI, microbes and immunity. You learn about the immune system. You learn about a lot of bugs. Uh, bugs and drugs, you learn about how to treat different bacterial infections, different viral infections, and sort of the course of those common infections. And then homeostasis, you're learning about 
the blood, the heart, the lungs, the kidney, endocrine digestion and reproduction, I'm assuming. We're learning about endocrine <laughs> digestion and reproduction, and then we end with um, neuro, um, psychiatry, those sorts of things, and muscles as well. Those are the courses that we take. So again, there's five of those courses. They extend the whole length of the year. After the six week blocks, you have those eight hours of examination. After the 12 week blocks, your exams are longer. So um, instead of having eight hours, you might have 12. We haven't taken a 12 week exam yet, but um, I'm assuming that the, actually I know that the testing is longer. I just don't exactly know how many hours it is. It's just too many is what I am aware. So, so all of those blocks mostly have all of those components. There's some blocks where you won't have TBL, um, but for the most part, everything kind of holds steady. And so those are the components of the courses. Again, those extend the whole year. You do have for during COVID, we just have one extra day off. So we have a three day weekend instead of having an actual break. Um, we didn't get a fall break this year. Our Thanksgiving break is very short um, just because they don't really want people traveling, which makes sense. So I, I can't speak to a normal year, but if it's if COVID is still happening and you come to Vanderbilt, you might have a little bit more time off in between. As far as that goes, not a ton of break. Um, you might have a three day weekend and then you just hop right back into it. On top of the courses that you're taking discreetly, you have what are called longitudinal courses. And so these are ones that are occurring throughout the entire duration of the year. And there's a couple of those. One of them is called physical diagnosis or PDX. And that is where you learn how to do the physical exam, you learn how to examine people physically. So that's right now we're learning to listen to the heart and the lungs and just kind of understand what that tells us, which is very interesting. I didn't know that there was like a very specific, I thought you were just listening, but there's places and there's reasons. So super cool. But so far we've done the back exam, the spine exam. Um, we can do an exam for headaches. We can take a patient history. PDX is where you learn how to do all of that doctor stuff when you go to the doctor and they're like, pushing on you in different places. That's, we learned that in PDX, which happens throughout the course of the year. So every Friday right now from three to 5 p.m. we have a seminar um, on PDX. We learn a new skill. And then throughout the week, we will have usually like one, one two hour session where we're actually practicing on patients or we're in a standardized patients that we are working on. So, so you're either in the hospital and you're talking to a real patient and you're practicing this exam on them because they are so gracious to allow us to come in and work with them, or you're working on a standardized patient in what we call SELA. So PDX happens again throughout the entire year and we learn the whole physical exam and then at the very end we have our final with PDX where we practice doing the whole physical exam and we have somebody evaluating us. We do have quizzes on physical diagnosis at the end of every week but they're pretty straightforward, really easy, usually only four questions. It takes you like a minute. <laughs> um, I wish, I'm, I'm not even exaggerating, it usually just takes you about one minute to finish the quiz. So that's nice. And then this kind of stuff is on the exam at the end of the block. You do have a PDX exam, but it's again, generally pretty straightforward. Um, the, the hardest part I think has been the skin exam just with the vocabulary. But aside from that, uh, physical diagnosis is very enjoyable and I really like it. The other thing that you do throughout the year, which I love is the continuity clinical experience. This is a t like, this brings a lot of people to Vanderbilt. This is something that I think is pretty unique to our school is um, you are matched into a clinic. You're first year so I think after maybe three weeks of class you're matched into a clinic and you work in a clinic you work a half day once a week just about once a week there's some weeks where you don't have clinic you work under a physician and you learn a whole lot of things while you're there some some people have more like shadowing experiences for me in my clinic I go in to see the patient before the doctor comes in I take the history I gather information and then right now I'm kind of transitioning into a spot where I can start developing a plan or, or a hypothesis and be like, this is what I think we should do. Usually I'm wrong, but it's good practice um, for what we'll be doing next year um, on the wards. So that's something that we get to do about once a week. It's usually from like one to 5 p.m. Um, some people get out later, some are earlier, some people get out later. I usually tend to be on the later side because I work in primary care and that's just how it works. But I really enjoy that. And then there's another part 
of the continuity clinical experience. We also call that CCX or um, Foundations of Healthcare Delivery. Those are all the same course. You have a seminar like once a month or once every month where you meet together and you talk about things like insurance or medical or medication reconciliation and those sorts of things. And then you take what you learn in that seminar and you take it to clinic and you practice doing that. And sometimes we'll have assignments related to that. Like we need to do a med, a medicine reconciliation and so, or a med rec is what we call that. And, and we'll have to do an assignment about that to, to show them we know how to do that because it's an important skill. So another thing that we do, another one of these continuity things that we do throughout the entire year is called CASE, which is basically where you, it's like a journal club kind of, where you have a paper that you're reading and you make it into a presentation and you talk about the methods and the results and you talk about what went wrong and what could have gone better and what kind of study it is and what's the risk ratio and just sort of learn how to read literature kind of more as a physician because I know in undergrad we read a lot of primary literature in my field and so it's not like it's new but it's just a new way of thinking about it so we just finished our first case presentation last week the last thing that I'll talk about as far as longitudinal stuff goes is called learning communities so um, case happens on Fridays or learning communities happens on Friday so when you're not doing case on Friday you're doing learning communities on Friday when you're not doing learning communities you're doing case learning communities so how Vanderbilt works is you are sorted into a college like you are from Hogwarts and you meet with your college every Friday from 10 to noon and that is where you talk about ethical issues or concerns kind of of that nature where we talk about study strategies or we talk about how to approach people with different viewpoints when we're providing medical care and so that's kind of more like soft skills but nonetheless very very important things to know we talk about in learning communities and it's just a really good way to get to know like a group of people especially during COVID I know if we didn't have learning communities I probably wouldn't know anybody in my class because we meet with those same people like once a week um, which is really nice and those same people are usually the ones that you meet with for case as well that's within your college so that in summary is what we're doing our first year it to me was kind of confusing when I looked at the website when I was trying to choose a school like it just doesn't make sense and you hear it over and over and over again but I hope that if you are considering being built that this explanation of the curriculum is helpful to you and if you have any specific questions I would be happy to help you as far as I know I am only about like a third of the way through first year but I thought this might be helpful to some people and if you have questions feel free to leave them in the comments um, if you want to know more about Vanderbilt or you have other questions not related to the curriculum also leave those I'd be happy to address them as well so I hope you're doing well and I'll see you next time bye